to a poetry challenge with uh, me, Mr. A, and uh, here we are. This one's a little bit delayed because I had some major problems with my internet connection at home yesterday, but uh, things seem to be back and running smoothly. So here I am. Thought I'd dust off my uh, my blues, you know, and uh, you know, represent. But, uh, just a little nod to you all. Um, can I say thank you to everybody who's um, having a go at all the home learning? Uh, the children and uh, thank you to the parents who have tried who are trying so hard to uh, to make these things happen and to keep learning happening at home um, so children remember your uh, your parents are trying to help you here by doing this learning and this is learning that's being set by us the school so we do expect you to have a go at it so um, please don't give your parents a hard time if they're trying to work with you they're trying to keep you learning and it's really important that you do that um, at this time you know until the time that we can uh, we can all come back together again all right so that's my little public service announcement. And on with today's poetry challenge. Now, little gripe, I've had no limericks submitted and no villanelles um, to this point, right? Villanelles, I can understand that was a complex thing. It was going to take some time. I can understand maybe why people wouldn't have a go at that. But the limericks, mm, might have been nice to see one or two of those. It's never too late. You know, do send anything you've got through to uh, poems at ashford-primary.surrey.sch.uk. But anyway, this is poetry challenge number seven, and we're going to move. Now, we've done quite a few little poetry types here. We've done things from France, we've done things from Italy, um, and now we're moving over to India. And we're going to think about a form of poetry called Nani, right? Now, Nani comes from southern India. It's um, a form of a bigger branch of poetry called Telugu poetry, which uh, dates back almost a thousand years, right, to the uh, 11th century, all right? So this is a very old... Um, form and it's also a very simple thing. So I hope you're all going to have a go at it um, this week and, and send me in some uh, some some lovely examples, because there are no well. There's only one rule with this. Uh, two rules. Uh, it's two rules. First rule, four lines. That's all. Four lines. And the second rule, the whole poem has to be between twenty and twenty-five syllables. All right. So four lines, twenty to twenty-five syllables. All right. So roughly. You know, you're talking six syllables per line, right? Um, so not much, but you could have one line that's 13 and then a couple that are very much shorter, right? So those are the only rules. Now, where uh, nani um, means one and all, okay? That's the only, that's what this uh, the, the name of this poem means. So your kind of your everything should be encompassed in this one uh, group of four lines. So try and think of something um, something that's major, something that's important something and then just squeeze the essence of that into four lines and 20 to 25 syllables now I did a couple I'm gonna put them up on the screen here so you can see them uh, but I'll read them out as well okay so my first one I, I was thinking about um, I was thinking about the cinema I really miss the cinema you know I've got two children under you know five and two years old so I don't go to the cinema that much anyway these days but I used to go quite a lot and I love the cinema and uh, yeah, so I, I really miss it, and the cinemas are closed at the moment, and um, I can't wait till I can go again. So this is my nanny about the cinema. The lights go down, deep red curtains glide noiselessly aside. From real life, you are delivered. All right, so that's my uh, nanny. I wrote another one about a nice cold drink on a hot day. And this is, beads of condensation trickle down the glass. Catch them with your fingertip before they reach the grass. Now I rhymed that one, but there's no need to rhyme yours. It just um, it it felt like it needed to rhyme, and, and you'll get that feeling too if you're um, if you're writing something. So that's our poetry challenge today. This is a much shorter video than it usually would be because um, first and foremost I've got nothing to read out. So please do email in your poems. Please do have a go at this because um, it, it's nice to think that people are. Uh, 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 Kind of rising to these challenges. I know you've got a lot more kind of home learning on the website these days, but you can always have a go at this as well. It always counts. And I can always send these if you send me in something really good, they'll get put on the website. I'll read them out and uh, I might even send them on to your teachers as well. All right. So, again, thanks very much for watching. I hope you're all well and uh, well, stay safe. And I'll see you on uh, Monday for another one. Okay, poetry challenge number eight. What will it be? Okay, take care, everybody. Bye bye.